Uh, thank you, Nikes, for giving me a chance to be one of the speakers. I'd like to welcome all our guests from Cairo, from the AUC, from the American Embassy and Cairo University, Dr. Mohammed Khalil and Dr. Hanes Sedan. And I'd like to welcome all our attendees from Dumiat, uh, Mansoura, anyone from Port Said? Cairo. Cairo. We have two Aywas, okay. Uh, Students, teachers, teacher trainers, English supervisors from the Ministry of Education, thank you so much for caring to attend, taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, it's a great honor. It's nice to see you. I hope you will enjoy my presentation and find it anything of great value to you. This is the topic. Uh, it sounds too academic. I, I think that it will, it will not be that funny as the last one. So sorry, sorry about that. Uh, mentoring autonomous learners. Much ado about something. Trainers, English supervisors. We agree that learners have different needs. They have different interests. They have different skills. They have different language backgrounds. And. By language backgrounds, I mean they have different language challenges and different language successes. They have different language abilities. Some, some learners are competent in speaking, others are more competent in writing. So they have different ways of thinking, different ways of learning. And they also have different learning styles. Some learners learn by seeing, or watching, others learn by hearing or listening, others, some others work learn by doing. So they learn differently, they are not all the same. So what about personalization? It's about the idea that teachers can and should make sure that the learning material at hand, the learning material given to learners is meaningful it's useful, it satisfies their walks of life. I know this is, this is not possible to achieve because we, we don't have the option to, as teachers, to choose the learning material. But still you can make some modifications, you can make some adaptations to make it meaningful for learners. And in this way, teachers having full access to many digital tools, resources and devices at any time. They can study at their own pace, on their own terms. They can learn what they want, when they want, and how they want. And back to personalization, they can in this way, they can personalize and individualize the learning. Before we move to a second reason, you might have some questions about the use of technology and the role of the teacher. What about the teacher? Okay, some people might say computers are not available, no internet connection, or the internet connection is so bad, so how can we have access to these resources. This is, I call, I call this, this is a cooked up excuse. It's a cooked up excuse. You can be autonomous offline. You can read books. You can watch TV. You can be autonomous offline. You don't have to be online. You can be autonomous anywhere. You can be autonomous at home. You can be autonomous in the street. So, this is my answer to you. The role of the teacher. Although the teacher's role is changing, this does not necessarily mean that his role is becoming less important. Still, teachers can